Unlike the Egyptians, the Carthaginians seem to have attached little importance, at least for the greater part of their history, to the idea of life after death. In spite of centuries of contact with Egypt and the introduction of some Egyptian deities into Carthage, or at least into their personal names, which generally reflected religious feelings. Their eschatology was probably little more developed than that of the early Hebrews. The dead had a brief existence in the tomb itself, and were accordingly provided with a few essentials and luxuries, such as they'd been used to when alive. Apart from isolated instances, inhumation was the rule, and the wealthy at any rate were often buried at the bottom of deep shafts in tombs of well-dressed stone, in the later period of Carthaginian history, there was much use of marble sarcophagi from the Greek world. Tombs at Carthage and also at settlements in Sardinia, Sicily and Spain have provided numerous examples of characteristic Carthaginian products whose precise significance is mysterious. These are terracotta masks of various kinds. Strictly there are two main classes, masks with holes for eyes and mouths, and masks having no such holes, generally referred to as protomai. They are found in fairly rich tombs, never on the face of the dead, and some tombs have several. The earliest, dating from the 7th century BC, are fearsome grotesques. Subsequently, protomai of both male and female features come, become common till the 4th century, after which their usage declined rapidly. The antecedents of these products are various both Egypt and Mycenae being included. The closest parallels to the grotesques are in the East Mediterranean, and particularly Cyprus, recalling the place of the island in the legendary foundation of Carthage. But there are also parallels in the later protomai in the Greek world. It has been suggested that they have some ritual significance, but it seems unlikely the masks were ever actually used as masks. It is possible that the grotesque was believed to frighten off evil influences, while the protomoi, particularly the female, were often thought to represent the goddess Tanit, were likewise believed to protect the dead in some way.